so yeah this is the second video wherein we'll be seeing uh, how to perform stress analysis of this gear so we have already uh, already seen uh, how we have created this mesh uh, so if you want to see that you can just uh, go to the previous video video number one and uh, you can look it up how we have created this mesh so let's get started first of all we will be deleting the 2d mesh uh, it's it won't be of any use for us now so yeah just selecting no 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 not uh, 3d mesh i'll be we have to delete 2d mesh just delete this part yeah so if there is still any surface left so let's just check no there is no not any surface left so now we have for uh, to perform a stress an static analysis we have to use two features first of all we have to constrain this part and uh, second we have to apply force in, uh, you can apply in whatever the direction you want i'll be showing you how to perform that so first of all let us create a rigid element to to constrain this uh, gear so in order to create the rigid element you have to go to 1d uh, first let's create the material sorry uh, we have to first create the material let's say steel material name is steel and uh, type as isotropic card image as mat one wherein uh, you can give young's modulus and uh, density not a new density new is poison's ratio and uh, rho is density that's sufficient and uh, now properties property name solid type is 3d and card image is p solid material name is steel Get on create so um, let's assign uh, our component that properties and uh, material solid yes so we have assigned it and uh, now we will be creating rigid element to constraint our gear so in order to create the rigid element just go to 1d uh, select the rigid and uh, multiple nodes select multiple nodes and uh, here calculate node so what this uh, this will do is it this will the automatically calculate the center of this circle the center of the whole face and uh, we don't have to do it on our so uh, yeah we are lazy node and uh, using by face it, it is going to select the whole node of present on that face make sure all the degrees of freedom are checked so create so yeah as you can see it has created a single element for all those elements so we just have to apply the our constraint here and uh, that constraint will be followed by each and every element that is present here so return and uh, we have to create uh, the load step oh no load collector so first of all we will be creating spc single point constraint uh, will no card image create now go to analysis then uh, constraint and then select that node make sure uh, you, you select that node only because you have to zoom in and that select because if you do it like this then it won't be selecting any make sure you are selecting the center of it and uh, create okay so let's change the color from here we'll be using black if you want to increase the size of that constraint you can do it from here let's 20 let's select 50 okay 50 yeah 50 is good return and now as the part is fully constrained uh, each and every degree of freedom is checked means uh, the part has no longer any freedom to 
move or translate or rotate in any direction so part is fully constrained so now all we need to do is apply force so uh, we'll be using some practical we'll be using some practical insight to apply the force as we all know that uh, uh, during the torque transmission the force which is being applied on the pitch point uh, is tangential so we will be using tangential force uh, we'll be using this is the pitch point let's consider this as pitch point and uh, we'll be applying force here uh, meanwhile i will also be showing you how to give the direction because this direction uh, is not either x or y or z so how to select that direction i'll be al also be showing that so first of all let's create the load collector as a force and uh, create let's go back to analysis and uh, forces so we'll be selecting nodes here three four five six seven eight nine ten so yeah we have selected the node uh, where the force is going to act and now the magnitude i'll be let's select 10 10 newton and uh, n1 n2 n3 points so n1 point as this n2 point as this so it is already going uh, it is on its own going to using that uh, two points going to give the direction it's create so you can see it has uh, give the, give, given the direction using uh, with respect to whatever the two point that we have selected so let's change the color it's, it's red yeah red looks good so some of you may wondering what is this auto so this auto is nothing but the uh, rb element or a rigid element that we have created so make sure you don't get afraid of it it's just our rigid element so we don't need to assign the properties or material to this rigid element okay so this last step in the load steps will be selecting yeah it is already selected i think yeah linear static give element that you like and uh, spc selecting spc as spc load as force create and uh, now we just have to save the file and solve the file using optistruct save as save it uh, save the file and uh, then optistruct so when the software is done uh, solving the file you just press on the result and uh, you can look it up so solver has done solving the analysis the FES FE analysis and now we are in the hyperview uh, and now we'll be looking at our, what uh, what the result were so make sure it is uh, set to static analysis and now you can just press the contour button so to see the displacement first apply and uh, yeah this is the teeth where we have applied our force the displacement is quite high which is obvious and now let's jump to stress analysis we'll be selecting averaging method as none apply so yeah you can see the stress is quite high here now some of you are wondering why if you are not familiar with this software is um, the area you can see the red portion here the our stress is inversely proportional to the area so area is quite less so stress is quite high here, as it is inversely proportional so this is the reason the red uh, contour is uh, shown here you can also look up for the values of how much stress 36.73 that is quite high stress so yeah uh, we are done with our second video lecture so far and uh, uh, 
here we have completed the for our second video on stress, static analysis and uh, in the next video, video uh, this one is the static analysis so we have not applied any transient loading that is the load which has been dependent on the time just uh, static loading conditions we have given so in the next video we'll, i'll be explaining how to perform the transient strata, stress analysis so make sure you access the playlist uh, if you are interested in learning the software otherwise just uh, can walk around so we'll be closing here thank you